I'm Mr. James from Charm City Karate. This is our chat from the mat. Uh, and this month we are going to be talking about anger management. Pretty big topic, got a lot of response. <clears throat> so I thought we'd talk about it for a whole month. So <clears throat> people in general, they need calmness. They need to be centered. Um, and, and that brings them a sense of security and peace of mind. So for a kid to be able to have that and, and to be able to have uh, control over their temper is a really powerful tool that they'll be able to take forward into their life. Um, and one of the, the first steps to that is to be able to understand why things happen. Um, <clears throat> you know, and, and get a, start to get a handle on things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some examples of things um, and things you can kind of go over with your kids or even work on for yourself. Try to figure out why things happen or why they make you mad, okay? Sometimes what you need to do is realize if this happened to somebody else, I would have laughed about it then maybe what you should do is laugh at it when it happens to you, All right? So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Uh, <clears throat> your alarm clock doesn't go off in the morning, and you're going to be late for school or late for work. All right, so if that makes you mad, why does it make you mad? Does it make you mad because you're going to be in trouble or because you have to rush? Why didn't your alarm clock go off? Did it not go off because you forgot to set it? Okay, so then you're mad at yourself because you forgot to do something. Or did it not go off because the power went out? You're mad because the power went out? That's not your fault. It's not something you can do anything about. You gotta let that go. If you're mad at yourself because you forgot to set it, don't get mad. Set up a system so that doesn't happen again. All right? Fix it. Don't get mad. Okay? All right. You're playing basketball and you get called for a foul you don't think you committed. It could be any sport really, soccer, football, whatever. Okay, so why did it happen? <clears throat> it happened because the referee thought they saw something that you don't think you did. Okay, well that happens, all right? Maybe you did it, but you don't think you did. Maybe they saw it, but you didn't do it. It's going to happen. You know what's going to happen later? Later on, the other team's going to get called for something that they didn't do or they don't think they did. It's just the way it is in sports. You have to learn to get past that stuff. Just blow it off. It doesn't matter. I've been in tournaments where I got a point for something I didn't do. And at the same time, I've been in other tournaments where I couldn't get a point to save my life no matter what I did. It doesn't matter. Just let it go. Okay? Sometimes you're going to be on the beneficial end of the blind referee. Sometimes you're going to be on the punishment end of the blind referee. Okay? It, it's going to even out in the, in the long run. It's not worth getting mad at. Okay? All right. Um, you have a friend that forgets to meet you for lunch. All right. If this makes you mad, why does it make you mad? Does it make you mad because you feel like they forgot about you? They don't care? Probably not true. So the thing to do is find out why did they not meet you? Did they actually forget? Did their car break down? Did they get punished by their parents so they couldn't come out? All right? So you need to find out why did they not meet you before you get mad. You just freak out and you're like, oh, I hate you. you! You just blew me off! That doesn't solve anything. Okay? You need to, to find out what happened before you get upset. People forget sometimes. Something else might have come up. Maybe they were sick. All right? Don't worry about it. In fact, that's the key, really, is if you can get to a point where you can accept things and realize that things happen, that will save you a lot, a lot of that pain that anger causes. And I used to have a really bad temper. Being able to let things go helped me a lot. All right, uh, your parents say that you cannot spend the night at a friend's house because it's a school night. All right, if that makes you mad, why does it make you mad? You know that's a rule. So why does it make you mad? Because you thought they were going to change the rule? 
That's silly. You knew they weren't going to change the rule. You got your hopes up over something stupid, and you got mad because somebody wouldn't change for you. That's just silly. Okay? You knew they weren't going to change that rule. Why would they? It's a school night. You open your yogurt lunch, and it explodes all over you. All right, so why are you mad here? You get mad because you're embarrassed, right? You got yogurt all over you. But, let me ask you this. If it happened to somebody else, what would you do? You'd probably laugh. You'd go, oh, ha, ha, dude, your yogurt. So if it happens to you, you can stand there and you can go, oh, my yogurt. Or you can go, dude, ha, ha, and you can laugh too. <coughs> Excuse me. You can laugh that your yogurt exploded on you. Okay? Have a sense of humor about it. Or freak out. Freaking out, not going to solve the fact that you have yogurt all over you. Your clothes are junked up. Laughing, uh, at least it'll help you feel better about the situation. You lose a sparring match at a tournament. <clears throat> you can get mad. You can throw your stuff down on the floor. You can cuss at the refs. It's not going to change the fact that you lost, though. Okay? Or you can try to figure out why you lost, and you can grow from that, and you can move on. Okay? Not a big deal. Uh, you try a really high kick in karate class and you fall and land on your butt. Now, if that happened to somebody else, what would you do? You'd laugh. Happened to you, you get mad. Why? Because you're embarrassed. And so you get angry. You can laugh at yourself again, though. You can go, whoa, dude, did you see that? I fell. Happens to everybody. Okay? You keep trying to do harder and harder stuff in martial arts. Sooner or later, you're going to fall down. It's cool. It happens. But you can get mad and freak out, and that's when people are really going to laugh at you. Or you can laugh at it too, and then people will laugh with you. Happens. Okay? All right, last one for you. You study really hard for a test, you still get a bad grade. Yeah, it's going to make you mad because you put in all that effort, and you didn't do good. You didn't do well. Makes you mad. Why? Because you put in that effort. Why didn't you do well? Sometimes you can get a block. It just happens. Okay? So maybe you need to find a way to relax before you take a test. Maybe you need to ask that teacher if you can retake the test, explain to her that you studied really hard. Who knows? All right? But the key is that you need to start to try and figure out why things are making you upset and examine them and think about things rather than just freaking out and getting mad. Right? Sometimes knowing the why <clears throat> will, and understanding the situation will help you to defeat your anger and not lose your temper. Because we all know that when you lose your temper, you do things and say things that make you really upset. All right, so I'm Mr. James from Charm City Karate. This is our chat from the mat. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.